In this week's episode, we'll be talking about the four games that we already played in the league and of course where we are standing right now in the league. Next, we'll be talking about the preview of the game against West Ham and in segment 2, trending now, we'll be talking a little bit about COVID-19 and the impact that it's bringing to football once again. And to end it off, segment 3, we'll be talking to our panel of experts once again. And this time, we'll be talking about transfers. Guys, this is First Nation. Welcome to Spurs Nation. Guys, in case you're wondering why we didn't have any episode last week, it's an international break. I take a break, of course. You're not happy, is it? Ask that guy behind the camera. Lah. Okay, anyway, in today's episode, we'll be talking about the first four games that we played in the league already. So, game one, Everton. So, uh, we started the season all hopeful that this might be the season we finally uh, do something good again. So... It was a very, uh, I would say, boring and uninspired performance. We lost 0-1 and it was very bad defending from us. That's why we lost. So it, it's not because everything is good. Huh? Next, we went to Southampton. So that um, we think that, okay, things not looking bright. But Harry Kane, 4 assists for Sunny's 4 goals. We beat them 5-2. That was, I would say, counter-attacking at its finest. Southampton was quite, I would say, naive by playing a very high line against very fast attack like ours. So they got punished. And of course, the handball decision that they gave away, um, Matt Doherty, the ball bounced up, not from him. Penalty. So we, I've spoke about the handball rules already and, uh, and of course, you all know how I felt about it. Which comes to my next game. 1-1 Newcastle. So Newcastle had zero shots on target until the goal itself. And of course, once again, Newcastle's goalkeeper have to become a human war against us. I think Chov says, so um, that game I was not particularly unhappy with our play, but I was very, very, very unhappy with the referee and of course the Vieira. Okay, then we went to Old Trafford. We went there worried that uh, will Manchester United actually give us a whacking because they had Bruno Fernandes. So we have been conceding silly penalties and true enough, within the first minute, we consider a stupid penalty. Davison Sanchez, what are you thinking? That is even something that an amateur player will not... Okay, maybe an amateur player will do, lah, but you want to be comparing yourself to an amateur player? No. But taking aside all of Manchester United's silliness and of course Harry Maguire, oh my god, that guy cost you 80 million pounds, world's most expensive defender. Hey, my grandfather's friend can play better than him. Lah. Okay, taking away all those, we have to look at our performance. First goal, Eric Lamella hustling the defense and Ndombele, he don't normally run. He ran to the box, whacked the ball in. And of course, 6-1. We have one of the most lethal strike force, I think in world football right now, Harry Kane and Sunny. Both of them can assist, both of them can score. Look at the quick free kick that Harry Kane took. Uh, Sunny already knew what Kane was going to do, broke him through. And of course, we beat them 6-1. And last I heard, Bruno Fernandes is still in Hoiberg's pocket. Mm. And of course, it brings us to this week's game. Let's do a quick preview. West Ham versus Tottenham. Okay, West Ham has always treated this tie to be their own cup final because uh, they got nothing else to look forward to. So, this week, you want my prediction, right? You all want my prediction, right? Currently, I'm 100% incorrect, but at least the results going my way. So, I will say, mm, 3-0 for us. Harry Kane, San Yeonmin, and of course, the return of the prodigal son, Gareth Bale. He will score one goal. He loves scoring against West Ham. So uh, as we have already seen in social media from uh, Spurs official and all, that uh, Gareth is already training and uh, putting in a shift. So I will expect him to feature in some capacity this week. So uh, I'm really looking forward to this week's uh, derby and three more points for the Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. All right, guys. In this week's episode of uh, What's Trending, uh, unfortunately, I have to be talking about this again, COVID-19. So just before the international break, uh, Liverpool probably suffered um, one of the most high-profile uh, COVID uh, tests so far, Mane and of course Thiago. And we all saw what happened when they <laughs> lost their two players. <laughs> okay, 
jokes aside, so uh, oh wait wait, I I really have to be serious, guys. Uh, yeah, they lost seven two. Who ha? We won six one. So next, Cristiano Ronaldo also tested positive. So they were in this international break. So they played a couple of countries. They played France. So France, of course, have a lot of uh, English based players. So the if Cristiano spread to the French team, the French players, and of course the Portuguese teams, go back to your own club. Will there be a major spreading event? So I, I, I really hope and pray that this doesn't happen because uh, we wouldn't want to see anyone getting COVID-19, especially when it comes to football. They are in this safe bubble. But if there is to be a big spread again, I think, unfortunately, the league might have to stop. We do not want that. We had such a hard time um, going about our lives without football. I mean, uh, times are bad already. The situation is not good. So football is one of the only things that is keeping uh, us football fans sane. So um, over at Spurs Nation and FTSE, we wish that everyone stay safe. Remember to always wash hands and uh, wear your mask and just follow all the rules that your government is telling you. So guys, in this week's cemetery, we'll be talking to our panel of experts. So the topic for today, it will be the transfer window. All of you already know that the transfer window has just ended and of course Spurs have one of the best transfer window that we have in recent history. The last time we bought so much players was when we sold Gareth Bale. So this time round, we didn't sell Gareth Bale, we bought back Gareth Bale. So what's going to happen is we're going to talk about all the transfer that we got in, the loan dealings and of course what kind of impact that this will bring to our club. So guys, let's talk to them right now. Welcome friends once again to Spurs Nation. So today, as usual, I have my panel with me all the way from Sengkang. Let's welcome Mr. Sweet 16 himself, Daryl Spikerman. Daryl, how are you? Hey, Boon. Good morning, good evening. Hey, how are good you? afternoon. I'm fine. How are you? Good, okay. It's so, been a long uh, uh, international week, eh, bro. Too long. Uh, eh. So how are you? Having any like side effect, no football? <laughs> Bro, I've been uh, re-watching the Man United vs Spurs uh, extended highlights, bro. <laughs> and 5 million views and counting uh, so far. Okay, uh, in case people watching the show forgot, it is Manchester United 1, Tottenham Hotspur? Six! Okay, oh, and me. joining us, as usual, he's the OG himself, Mr. Shah F2. What's up, Shah? What's up, Gun? Thank you for having us again um, in my oh, green today. What is Spurs Nation without you guys? Oh, and of God. course, today okay. we'll be talking about transfers. And what is transfer without Mr. Hitchin himself, Mr. Troy Hitchin? Oh, oh yeah. Good transfer. Okay. I did a good job, yeah. You did a good job, <laughs> but it's not you. <laughs> hey, okay, guys. I see you all follow my, my wall background. Huh? Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. Michael, you follow my world background. I started the white thing first. <laughs> okay. oh, anyway, we, we are supposed to be joined by Mr. Adnan Karim, but one, I think I kicked him out of the room without me knowing. <laughs> uh, I think you need are to you check ready? Atlanta squad first. Huh? <laughs> See who's available. <laughs> okay, anyway, so without a, a further ado, let's start. Um, Dara, our recent transfer window has been phenomenal, I would say. Okay, very unexpected. So, um, Let's talk about from the bottom. Uh, one time, two time, three time, four times, four times, four times, four times Golden Globe. Our four Mr. times Joe. Golden Glove, uh, Premier League Golden Glove winner, uh, Joe Hart. Okay, I will start from, yeah. from, from the back, right? Good people. So, Joe Hart was the, was the guy we could have brought in. Um, from, I mean, former England international, won the Premier League with uh, Man City, Golden Glove winner and uh, homegrown uh, talent come in and back up to Hugo. More or less reliable when called upon. So it was also free transfer from Burnley after the contract Burnley expired. So what more can we ask for as uh, Spurs fans who want a reliable uh, backup keeper? Um, Joe Hart, I think, ticks all those boxes for us. Lah. Um, no issue with that. Very happy that Joe Hart has come in. Okay, so that's Bonner, Joe Hart. Yeah. But our first, <laughs> our first signing, Hoi Bie. So far, okay, the first game versus Everton, apparently everyone was complaining about him. After that, yeah. he has been a revelation. So, what do you think? Yeah, I, th I guess Hoibier took time to settle in and find his position. I guess the recent games 
he's really done well, and the Man United game showed uh, what he can do. I'm not sure what we expected of him. Maybe some of us were hoping that he will um, destroy the opponents or destroy the opponent's midfield, but what he does more is um, organizing and protecting the defense, and then from there, playing the ball out. So he actually has a good uh, touch on him. Uh, he can find the passes, and he also can do the interceptions. So that's what uh, Hoybier actually is all about. Um, the interceptions and uh, the good passes out of out of midfield. So it worked well in the United game when he had uh, Sissoko and uh, Ndombele uh, alongside him. Uh, Ndombele will, will do the dribbles, uh, bring the ball further up. Uh, Hoybier will protect the will protect the defence and also block the attacks coming from Man United and Sissoko will just cover anyone who's out of position who will go up and attack. Uh, for example, like Oye and Sissoko will just cover right back. Bruno, uh, so Bruno, Bruno was in Hobie's pocket. Uh. Yeah, Bruno, Bruno all in the pocket. Uh, okay, now back, back pocket, uh, back pocket. He is a uh, question mark, so I'm taking it out again. <laughs> okay, uh, what about you, Troy? Let's talk about huh? our left back and right back. Left back first, Sergio Regalon. What do you think? Is he a good guy? Or- um, I think he's quite young. Uh, he has speed. Uh, that's one thing good lah. That he can recover when whatever mistakes he do. But of course, he still needs more experience. And uh, we have yet to see whether he can um, give good deliveries into the box. Uh, but so far, we've seen Doherty on the right side been giving good deliveries into the box, and mm-hmm. also his presence to run into the box is uh, his time timing is quite good. Lah. So okay, I would I'll think get, that uh, right back is quite good. Okay, I'll get back to you in a short while. But here to discuss our new right back signing, the guy that I kicked out and he's back again, Mr. Anand Karim. Hey, what happened to you? Sorry, my apologies. What's up, everybody? You you oh, no, you looking for Castanier, right? Yeah. Yeah, he no, 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 no. Listen, okay. listen. Um, we didn't, get, you know, Anand. We didn't get Castanier. But what do you think about Matt Doherty? I think yes. Uh, I had my initial doubts on him, but I'm um, now I'm starting to firmly believe that you know he is the right man for the club going forward. No, we, pun intended. Uh, right man. <laughs> the right man. Of, but of course, on the right side. All uh, right. I, I think know, he's a I know that we're with right backs and left back, but. The most exciting transfer we got in is a loan signing. So I need this man to tell me more about this guy. Our new number Who? nine. Who? Um, tell us more. What, what, what's your expectation? How excited are you by the, the return of the prodigal son? I think Ooh, come on, let's that. <laughs> I think it's in, 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 in the Malay slang, we call it it's a Gilababi move. So <laughs> it's, 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 it's unexpected. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was, it was unexpected, but it was a jubilant and it was a, a, a I would say, unexpected and very, very surprising move. Uh, both uh, Bill and also the Region, the, our left, new left back, was, were, were unexpected. We brought them in to probably, I think, um, beside the Gilababi move, like, I think it was also a boost to the team uh, for morale. If it is not for the morale, also is just to actually strengthen the team in some ways or in some capacity, building uh, more than one position in each area. And with his return and with his caliber and with his actual actually track records, with his actually capabilities that he did in Real Madrid, uh-huh. it is a definite motivational factor slash uh, boost to the team and of course to himself to actually. Uh, keep his playing time moving forward. So it's definitely a plus plus for Tottenham Hotspur this of year. Of course, uh, yeah. Yeah. Shah, he's 31 already and yeah. uh, he has not played for almost a year. I mean, yeah. apart from Roth. So mm. do you think he can still do the job? Yeah, of course. Like, we have a lot of 31 year olds. Like, blah, blah. We have uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, we have like uh, Aubameyang, we have who else? Lionel Messi. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that Bill can be compared to all these other superstars. But of course, he is already the world-class level already. He went to Real Madrid, he created his three, he scored mm. the overhead K against Liverpool in the Champions League final. He burst that sprint to the... Uh, uh, beat, beating that uh, right back from Barcelona, like like a... Uh, I don't know what you call it. It's even like a, a, a burst I'm 31, I'm, I, I so fit, right? Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah. Okay, 
Please, yeah. you want to talk? Okay, Troy Hitchens, our last ah, yeah. signing of the transfer window. You don't count, don't mm. count the championship, man. Vinicius. Vinicius. We, okay. We're looking for most, a striker most and people, Vinicius. What do you think? Most people would, 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 yeah. Most people uh, would say that he is like a backup to Kim. Mm. To Kim, so I, I, I would disagree because um, he is the Mourinho type of striker. You know, the, 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 the big guy that will ruffle the feathers among the defenders. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, like the Diego Costa type, uh, Ibrahimovic type. That's how Mourinho wants to play. And I would see that in the long run, it's more of Kane playing off him. You know, Kane mm -hmm. playing behind him. Behind him, yeah. Yeah, oh, you because... Uh, striker? No, -striker. Kane yeah. will be like more of like a, a I w yeah maybe a co striker playing off him because Kane will be doing the uh, the one that will be receiving taking the second ball spreading it out because that's what he did during uh, when when he first started out but because we had no striker back then so Kane had to fill up and he did well mm -hmm. uh, similarly to Robbie Kane Robbie Kane was an attacking midfielder he was supposed to play in the hole but then um, sorry so, uh, Robbie Kane Robbie Kane. Yeah. yeah no, no. I mean, what kind of striker is Vinicius? Is he like a supporting uh, target man or is he like a goal scoring kind of player? I would say he's more of a complete forward. Um, for those of you who play football manager, okay. But um, in for for those who don't, right? It's more of a, a, I would say a mix of a target man and a forward. He spearheads the attack, right? He will hold the ball. He's strong enough to hold the ball. Hmm. Uh, and we have fast players that will come in like Bale, Sun, uh, Lucas, even Kane. Uh, defend. Uh, he's also fast, right? Oh, right. So okay. yeah, he will. In the long run, like, in the run, you will see him now. I and and yeah. Kane will still stay. No, no point fixing a, a broken record, right? So yeah, if yeah. he ain't broke, don't fix it. We'll just continue, and then we'll of see course. how it goes. Of course. Okay. So, Mister Sweet Sixteen, in your opinion, before we end this uh se quick session, in your opinion, who is currently who, which which buy are you the most impressed and most excited with? The most exciting one is still Gareth Bale, the one who hasn't played yet. Hmm. Looking forward to him making his debut lah, against West Ham. Cause, oh my. Oh okay. yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I believe so. Lah. I think it's been a while since we see him and he, he coming back to Premier League, of course, everyone is excited uh, despite minusing, minus all the crowd that's going to be in the stadium. You just have to see him back on the field and see how he can deliver. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. Okay, bef I'll go to Anand Les. Uh, Troy, who are you most excited with? The one and only OG Fernandez. Okay, the better Fernandez. I'm hey, waiting for that. No, right? no, I'm no. waiting for that. No, no, no. I'm waiting for that. Yeah, okay. Really, 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 I'm waiting for that. He might just be pushed back to Benfica. Uh, yeah lah. But I'm waiting for that. Okay. So, that, so that so I can laugh at the menu fans and tell them, hey, your penalty, you spent 70 million on somebody taking penalty. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's good that we record this thing because if Getson really does well, then you can actually... Yes. No, 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 yes. no. Positively, positively. Yeah, then you can reset this video. And share yes. it across the social media, yeah. Exactly. No, no, no. Right. It's not sarcastic, ah, bro. It is true, really, because he's the only one that is left behind from our real passport. <laughs> no. Hey, so, you know I mean well. Uh, yeah, you know I mean well. I mean. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I know, I know. Yeah. Look, if he does well, if he does well, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna do a snippet on this, on this video, okay? Correct, okay. correct, yeah. Okay, uh, wait, let, let me say something. All about positivity. Yeah, okay. Uh, and a snippet uh, on, on, on Shaf for supporting me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me stay on record. Huh? Uh, our good friend Troy said that Jackson Fernandez will be a, a superstar and we'll pay good money for him. You heard it here first. And to all you 1-6 fans, the guy that got sucked <laughs> in the halftime, the Fernandez, the diver, yes, we have the better Fernandez. Which comes to you next, Anand Karim. Who is the most impressive buy and the buy you are most excited with? Frankie. Unleash him on Sunday, we will win. Unleash the Frankie. Unleash him. Frankie. I'm just with Gareth Frank Bale. Gareth How good Frank is that? 
Just okay. unleash him on Sunday, we will win. He, he traditionally does well against West Ham. So, I mean, mm. um, I'm looking forward to it. If JM releases him, unleashes him on Sunday, I I firmly believe that we can win even not 6 1, 8 1. Hey, so, yeah. T. Hey, day, day. Okay, let's not get carried away. Before we go once again, I'm BC. That is Daryl Spikerman. That is Shah. That is Troy Hitchens. That is Abnan. This is First Nation. Remember, to dare is to do, but don't anyhow do. I see you guys again. Bye bye. So, once again, unfortunately, we come to the end of this episode. Before we end this episode, we would like to congratulate Hyrie once again for being the winner of our post a pick contest during the last game. So, guys, if you do not know what I'm talking about, do remember to go look at the last few videos that we made, and of course, our gifts away. We will be having more of such contests. And of course, over here, we like to thank the Red Devils Den winner. Of course, his team lost 6-1, but he got a free jersey. So that's kind of a consolation, yeah? So remember to like, comment, subscribe. And of course, in YouTube, click on the bell icon. You'll be notified if we have any new videos. And of course, stay tuned for all our latest episodes and our contests. And remember, guys, stay safe, wash your hands, wear your mask. And of course, love each other and take care of each other. Over at Spurs Nation, we would like to tell you one more thing. Remember, today is to do, but don't anyhow do. i see you guys soon. Ciao.